Another decision that the manager has to make is whether to keep a segment or a product line or whether to discontinue it. And many times the managers do not drill down far enough to find out what the problem really is. So we're going to take a look at some data um, in the form of a contribution margin income statement and see if we can get to the bottom of things and figure out really what should we discontinue and what should we keep and also what additional information we might want as a manager before we make that important decision. So keep versus discontinue. I'm going to be doing exercise 9 to look at it. Now in exercise 9 we have a segmented income statement. Now what a segmented income statement means is that we're looking at our various segments of our business. And in this case we're looking at URL services which uh, produce web pages. And they do basic web pages, they do custom web pages, and then overall benefit for the company. So as you can see, their revenue from basic web pages is pretty good. Their custom web pages has a nice revenue, and overall the company has 350000 in revenue. The variable cost for each segment means we have a contribution margin overall of about $153,000. Then we segment or we chunk our fixed costs differently to make these decisions. We have direct fixed costs. In other words, these fixed costs are avoidable costs. If this segment goes away, these direct fixed costs go away. They're avoidable. They're traceable to this particular um, segment of the business. So avoidable costs are sometimes also known as traceable costs because there's a causal relationship between what it's doing and the, the particular segment. So notice the direct fixed costs for custom throw it into a negative, doesn't it? So overall, in part A of this problem, it says how much better off would the company be overall if we got rid of custom web pages? Well, if we get rid of custom web pages, will we be better off because this will go away? So what will be the result? Well, instead of having a net income of $75,000, won't that increase by $2,000 to $77,000? So if custom goes away, we can improve our bottom line for the company overall by $2,000. But let's drill down a bit further. If I just look at custom and then look at its segments, notice that custom web pages does a several different tasks. They design web pages, they install these custom web pages, and they maintain these custom web pages. So if you look further at it, you look at the revenue, the variable cost, and the contribution margin of each of these activities, you notice that where they're in trouble is not in the installation and the maintenance of custom web pages, but in the design. That the design, even the contribution margin, notice is negative 20,000, whereas install and maintain are bringing it up so we only have a net loss from the segment of 2000 So where is the real problem? It's in design. And not only is design bringing you down 20000 as far as the contribution margin, but as you can see, I ran off the page. If you look at their fixed costs, there's an additional fixed costs that are traceable to design of 6000 So the impact overall to the company is to drag it down $26,000. If I was to get rid of design, how much will this bottom line improve? It will improve $26,000. Isn't that amazing? That's assuming what? That there, if we get rid of the design, that it has no impact on install and maintain. Do you think it might have a bit of impact? Yes, it will. So thus, what additional information, which is part three of this problem, would you need to make a good decision? 
and additional information is I would want to go into revenue. How am I bidding these jobs? What are my competitors selling these uh, design jobs for since these are custom jobs? Variable cost. How much am I paying my designers an hour? Should I pay my designers per hour or should I charge them per job? Why are these costs out of kilter? So I can go in and troubleshoot and probably come up with a better decision point so that um, I just don't do the X thing of, well, let's just get rid of design or let's just get rid of custom. Go in and figure out exactly where you can re-engineer and where you can get that profit that you so desire.